It provides a network of people who are basically maybe struggling on the same ideas, on the same challenges. So Stefan, so many people are working from home right now, but what exactly is driving this work at home lifestyle? Yeah, we see that a lot. Um, what drives it basically is, I would say two things. Uh, first, the connectivity and then the tools. Um, the connectivity is simply the fact that today uh, you can basically connect on the internet because that's what's driving most of the um, sort of trend right now. And the tools are basically what you have in the pocket, uh, the smartphone, uh, but also the laptops and all these things that people now uh, use to sort of work basically for uh, quite a lot of things. Um, and you see people basically working from anywhere today. So I'm always working from strange locations. I'm always working on the train, the plane, or even the road. So is co-working the answer to this work style? The answer, yes, uh, partly. I mean, co-working is, is an answer because it, it provides a very um, useful tool for people to sort of work in a more efficient way. Um, as a member in a co-working, you basically have access to Wi-Fi, printer, uh, all the solutions you need, desk, chair. And that's basically a, a, um, an efficient solution for people to um, sort of focus, you know, in, in one environment, definitely. So now we're seeing a lot of big businesses who are encouraging staff to work from home. Why are they encouraging staff to work from home? How does it benefit them? It benefits them mostly because of what we um, call commuting today. People spend quite a lot of time on roads, uh, either in trains or in their cars. And if you can tell people, well, if you stay at home, you basically gain two hours in your workday, well, it makes, it definitely makes sense. Um, for that sort of hour reason, meaning you gain two hours in a day, but also for traffic. Uh, now you have cities and um, even countries that sort of are taking a look at working as a solution to sort of uh, get away of this um, congestions that you see in quite a lot of cities. So we have freelancers and entrepreneurs who are going in these co-working spaces, but why don't they just work at home where they have Wi-Fi and nobody to disturb them? Some people do, but uh, co-working is sort of this basic package that people um, like a lot because you have access to everything you need. And the second basic reason for that is that they get social interactions. Um, as an entrepreneur, as a freelancer, um, as an individual in general, uh, the problem you see uh, when working at home is you basically feel alone and you sort of, uh, with co-working, you have access to a lot of different people. Um, you have access to events that most of the co-working also organize. Um, and this is basically the two reasons why people tend to uh, be members in these co-working spaces. And a final question. How important are these co-working spaces for someone who's got a business idea and they're trying to get it off the ground? It provides a network. It provides a network of people who are basically maybe struggling on the same ideas, on the same challenges. Um, it provides um, opportunities to meet people that may be interested in uh, either investing or co-working with you on, on sort of fostering the, the, your concept, your ID. Um, and yeah, it's, it's basically a sort of platform for people to um, better work, basically. Well, thank you, Stefan, for coming in the studio today and speaking of this working at home lifestyle. Thank you. And thank you for watching. We want to know if you're working at home right now, so give us a comment in the box below. Goodbye for now.